Hey everybody and welcome to KM Reviews. I am Nettleman. This time I'm bringing you a review for episode 7 of Westworld. Now this is going to have some spoilers in it, so if you've not seen the episode yet, please go check it out and then come on back. In which case you don't care, then whatever. But you have been warned, so here we go. So this episode has a couple smaller side stories, such as Dolores still going down on that train with the white hat guy, and they're getting deeper and deeper in enemy territory, and as we know, the farther out you go, the crazier shit gets. So they start seeing heads on some spikes, they get uh, bombarded with some people, and they're running away having a gunfight, and she had some sort of weird vision where she painted some uh, terrain that she had supposedly never seen before that she made up, and then they come across it, and they talk about how if they pass it, they might be away from enemy territory, but we're going to be going into a place where nobody's ever returned from, so it'll be interesting to see where that location goes or what they see when they get over there, and I still think that guy is a young version of Ed Harris. On another note, we have Tandy Newton, who in the previous episode had had her intellect basically boosted big time, so now she's super smart, she knows what's going on, she's in Westworld, they pause everybody, you know, she's looking around like, what the hell, oh, I better pretend like I'm paused, they think they're going to come in there and get her, uh, but she, so she has that knife but they end up taking the other girl and she's again she is fully aware now 100% of what's going on and it doesn't really bother her that much she but she wants to get free she tells those little uh uh doctor surgeon guys like hey you're gonna help me get out of here I'm gonna fucking kill you you know she's basically threatening their lives and they're a little bit dopey a little bit like I don't know what to do they don't want to get in trouble they don't want to die I have a feeling they're gonna help her escape um so we'll see where that goes uh, but that'll probably take place in uh, a, probably more near the season finale. Now, we the big story arc with this one has to do with Bernard. Now, before we talk about what happened with him, which was pretty fucking awesome, we see him getting fired. They're basically saying, look, this code, that the coding that you've done with these robots isn't working. They show how they can become violent and how they're not responding to like the freeze commands and that robot that they pulled out earlier from Tandy Newton, she's beating up this dude, practically kills the guy. Maybe she did kill him, I don't know. But they basically say, look, your coding isn't working, we're firing your ass. Bernard calls it though, he calls some bullshit on that. He's like, look, I can, I've been dealing with these things for so long, I can tell you guys programmed it to do that. I'm not fucking stupid, but I know you have the best interest at heart of the people of this park and, or whatever, you know, he's basically, he likes that girl and he wants to show her something. So he brings her to Anthony Hopkins' house, and this has got to be my favorite moment of this entire show, because she's talking about, well, how come the other robots haven't seen this? They're the ones that scavenge this thing, and he's like, look, they're programmed not to see it, so they can be staring right at it and not even see it. She says, well, what's behind this door? And he says, what door? And right then, I was like, holy fuck, he's a fucking robot, because otherwise he would have seen it. She opens it up, they go in there, you see uh, that Anthony Hopkins character has kind of been developing his own robots kind of off the books from everything else. Um, it's a slower machine, but he's doing what he's doing, and I'm going, oh my god, Bernard's about to find out he's a fucking robot. And she goes over there, you see a, a thing for a Dolores prototype and some other stuff, and at this point now, you see Bernard's photo, and you're like, oh shit. And they show, she shows it to him, and he's like, I don't see anything, because he's a fucking robot. He doesn't see that stuff. It kind of shows you, again, just like the robots in Westworld, they think they're real people. They have backstories. We saw earlier in this episode, he had a backstory of a kid that had died. It had kind of developed who he was. Obviously, that was all some bullshit. It's all fake. It's all programmed memories into him. He is no better than any of the other robots in Westworld. He just had a different use in the real world. This just totally changes the game for this show, even though a lot of us have seen this coming. At this point, anybody in this show could be a robot. It's almost like Battlestar Galactica, where almost anybody could, could have been one of those uh, robots. In this show now, anybody could be a fucking robot. I wouldn't be surprised if Anthony Hopkins was a robot, or if anybody, I mean, honest, or uh, fuck, maybe everybody's a fucking robot, and the fucking real world's another fucking game. Who the fuck knows? But the point is, it was really interesting to see it from his perspective of finding out he's a robot but and being told what to do by Anthony Hopkins, who is like, look, this is all part of the game. They do this to me every once in a while to see if I still got my nerves about me. And he basically sets Bernard to kill her. 
You know what I mean? And honestly, I can't, I'm can't. i pretty sure I said in one of my earlier reviews, I actually, I think I called it that Bernard was a robot. I thought he was maybe a robotic version of Arnold. That part was wrong, but I knew he was possibly a robot. The thing giving it away to me was the fact that he, they were always showing him have sex with her, and they always seem to do that with these robots is have sex with them. But it was just a guess. I'm sure a lot of people guess that it's not some big thing. But anyways, moving forward, our minds are blown. Where is it going to go from here? I don't know. But it's interesting to know now that Bernard is a robot. I'm sure at some point he's going to come across Tandy Newton. Oh, man, I don't know. I really don't know where the show is going to go from here. I think the next big thing is going to be the reveal of this maze and finding out that that young guy is a younger version of Ed Harris. That'll be the next big twist that we've all already called. Um, but again, that's my big long rant on the spoilers of this episode. Basically, this show is fucking amazing. It is awesome. I'm not giving each of these episodes official ratings, but if I was, this would be fucking top-notch stuff. So I want to know what you think of this. Did you see this twist coming? What do you think of Westworld so far this first season? Do you want to keep seeing this show go on? Let me know all your thoughts about this show. Let me know and comment below. Also, remember, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, pretty much everything at Niddleman. Also, check out some of my newer movie reviews. And if you want to see updated reviews every single week, make sure you subscribe if you can handle it. Go.